about money now. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick warning of a very tight budget here for the next couple of years. Tomorrow, lawmakers are going to get together, start figuring out just how much we're going to spend on educating our children, keeping us safe, and also protecting our most vulnerable residents. Political reporter Jack Fink live at the Capitol for us tonight with a look ahead. Jack? Well, Doug, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick vows the state will keep a tight lid on spending during the next two-year budget. He also challenged cities, counties, and school districts to rein in their spending because property taxes are now the sixth highest in the nation. I'm asking local governments and school districts to reduce their property taxes to no more than population and inflation, which is about 4% a year. Uh, we may not even grow at that level this year based on the money we have. So. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick says a downturn in the oil and gas industry is to blame for the state having about $3 billion less during the next two-year budget than the current one. He says half the budget pays for public schools and higher education and about another 40 percent for health care and social services. If that means we have to have cost containment in areas, then we will have that. We're not going to raise taxes on people. I'm always concerned that... But Democratic State Representative Roberto Alonzo of Dallas says the state faced a far more severe budget in 2011 when lawmakers had to cut billions from schools. He says it's not that bad this time. I can tell you that people do not have to worry. We're going to make sure that we take care of all our priorities. Lawmakers are spending an extra $140 million this year on CPS. That's because the state agency is accused of failing to protect children, such as four-year-old Liliana Wright of Grand Prairie, allegedly beaten by her mother and boyfriend last year. Leaders are hoping to hear progress in a report this May. If you just say we're keeping that program and those people, which I think is the intent, well, then you have to fund that again. Even with a tight budget, the state still says it has about $10 billion in savings, and that could soon grow to nearly $12 billion. Also today, the lieutenant governor announced his reelection and endorsed Governor Greg Abbott for his reelection, too. Lawmakers are going to be sworn in here noon tomorrow. Live in Austin tonight, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.